Hey what's up guys, it's Tiffany and today I'm back with another new video and today as you can see by the title I am doing my all time beauty favorites slash like my holy grail products. I thought I would share these beauty products with you guys today because I thought it'd be kind of interesting. So if you guys like any of these beauty products and we can bond over the love of these products, leave a comment in the comment section below. Oh, just a disclaimer, if these, these products might work for me, they might not work for you, but these are just what works for me personally. And I'm gonna get right into the video. I hope you guys enjoy, so give this a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, leave a comment, share the video, turn my notifications on, do whatever you guys feel like doing. I'm going to start off with the only really non-makeup product that I have today, because literally 99.9 .9 of these products are makeup products, but I have one product that's not, and it is the Victoria's Secret um fragrance or perfume now this you can tell is almost gone and it is just the coconut passion fragrance mist and i absolutely love this it stays on forever it just smells so good and i love it so i use this literally every day my next product all the next products are makeup pretty much so the okay i loved it the next product I'm going to show you is a brush that I think I've been loving more recently with the foundation I have. So I'm going to actually show you guys the foundation that is now my Holy Grail foundation. So the foundation and the brush. So the foundation I've been using recently is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. And I am in shade porcelain and it's just like a nice stick foundation you can build it to be full coverage but it's also a really nice foundation if you want a more sheer coverage so basically my blender which is what i normally use to put on foundation it wasn't i found that it wasn't working completely well with this one but i found that this brush from elf it's just an elf like blending brush works fantastic with this foundation these two together give me such a flawless coverage um, and I absolutely love it and I've been really liking that a lot better than any of my other foundations So I've really been liking this combo together and this brush I actually used a lot when I had the Kat Von D foundation and this also buffed and Blended my foundation beautifully and it's literally like I think a three dollar spot like brush and for the three dollar brush This brush is absolutely amazing and this foundation is absolutely amazing. It's only $25 which for a higher end brand it's an amazing price for foundation and okay but this next product i've been completely loving for a really long time now now i started using a primer i really wanted to find a really good one but i didn't want to spend like 40 dollars on a primer because i'm like it it just didn't make sense to spend like 40 dollars on a primer to me when it's literally what's going on underneath your foundation and all your makeup but it is really important to have a primer so i have found the nyx photo loving studio perfect primer Nope, nope. And I would say it is a good dupe for the Smashbox Photo Loving, Photo Finish, something like that primer. I tried both of them. I tried the Smashbox one and one of the little like travel size. But I actually prefer this one. And it's cheaper. It's like $14. And it makes my foundation look beautiful no matter what foundation I have. So the next product I have is a product I've also had for a really long time. The next product is a highlighter. Now this just looks like a simple highlighter but it just looks like this and this is in uh the shade pink and it's just a face and body bronzer but it's like a nice glittery highlight and i don't know if you can tell but i have just a tiny bit of it on today because i really wasn't going for a full glam look today this piece of hair okay but i just have a tiny bit of it on here and one tiny little stroke will give me a great thing and again, I think I got this for like $8, six or six, between six and eight, I don't really remember. But I know online it's only like $15 and this is an amazing highlighter. Instead of spending like 30 or 40 on highlighters, you can spend about 15 and I love it. It's from Measurable Differences, if I didn't say that already, but it's just really pretty. And they have it in different colors. I like a nice like white, pink, like, I don't know why. I think because I'm paler, like bronzy, goldy highlighters don't really work for me that well but pinks and purples and all that kind of stuff and a light white 
really work really well for me. So that is why I absolutely love this because my next product I actually bought because oh, I got the Coating Air Spun Loose Face Powder in Translucent and I swear by this. It's fine. It's nice. It sets my foundation. I have never had a problem with it. It sets everything beautifully and I absolutely love it so I would highly recommend it. So the next product is a product I have been using for a really long time and it is the NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker. I don't know if you can see that. Basically it's just a, it is a pen eyeliner and I have found that pen eyeliners are the easiest for me to do. I bought like three or four of these already. They do last really long but I've been using this for a few years now just the specific one i feel like between liquid between gel between pen like this these work the easiest for me i've always been able to get a nice beautiful line I just love it a lot and it's very pigmented very very pigmented you do not see a theme i absolutely love nyx products they're so good for the price they are this is probably my ride or die lipstick i have so many lipsticks there are two ride or die lipsticks i have I, my two ultimate favorite liquid lipsticks i literally only wear liquid lipsticks i don't wear normal lipstick i don't wear glosses i don't even like i just wear liquid lipsticks so i have one high end and one drugstore and my high end one is the kat von d liquid lipsticks everlasting liquid lipstick in the shade exorcism i have bought two of these already i am absolutely I found one. My best friend Abby gave me one for Christmas because I wear it all the time. I absolutely love it. I think it's a beautiful color. My next one, like I said before, well I started before I wanted to get the other liquid lipstick. I love NYX. NYX is a great affordable brand that has great, amazing, amazing, amazing quality products. Absolutely love NYX. Like, NYX, this is not sponsored. I am not big enough to have a sponsor. I have literally my friends and family subscribe to this YouTube channel. So hello, friends and family, and maybe to the two subscribers that I don't actually know. But if NYX wants to sponsor me, like, I would be down. So, like, NYX, if you're watching this for some odd reason, like, hit a girl up. I would love to work with you. Back to my Holy Grail lipstick, and I think I wear this one actually more often because... Even though I do like a bold lip, when I'm just doing a neutral look like this, I will usually grab a more neutral nude color. But NYX Lingerie, I swear by this line. I have about six NYX Lingerie liquid lipsticks. I'm just not like a NYX suede or like matte because I feel like they don't stay on as well. And I am the type of person, and I love ColourPop liquid lipsticks, I love the Kylie Jenner ones because I like my matte liquid lipstick to be as dry as possible. Like, I like it to completely dry down 110%. And that is why I feel like a lot of people don't like these because they are super drying. But I absolutely love it for this. I wore one of these to prom and while everyone was trying to last year, I wore one of these to prom last year while everyone was in their bags, like, reapplying their lipstick. I didn't have to because this stayed on all night. And by all night, I mean literally from, like, probably 3 or 4 o'clock the one day to probably 24 hours later to when I actually got home the next day. And I wore it to the 1975 concert recently. Again, stayed on probably from, like, noon till probably midnight. Didn't have to reapply it. I've eaten, drinking, anything in these, they will stay on through pizza grease, through hamburger grease, through literally anything. And that is why I love, love, love this NYX lingerie collection. It's beautiful on the lips, it goes on amazingly, and it does not come off. Amazing! And I swear, like if I could pick one product to, to rant about, which I am ranting about this, it would be the NYX liquid lipsticks and like the NYX lingerie ones. They're so, so amazing. Like I said, I think I have about six of them. I would love to get the whole collection. Um, I bought like three or four of them when I went to New York because they have a whole NYX store and I was literally in heaven when I walked in there and I don't know how, I didn't spend any more money. I think I bought three things, which were three of the lingerie lipsticks this is in the color 
Exotic, which is number 12. And it's just a really pretty, like, pink, dark pink color. I don't know if I'm not doing this right, I know. But, like, it's just beautiful on the lips. I absolutely love it. I'm going to talk about one last NYX product because if you cannot tell, I am completely obsessed with NYX. It is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. Now, I really want to get the Tarte Shape Tape because everyone loves it. My friend Tiana swears by it. People swear by it. This is in the shade 01 or Porcelain because, again, I am pale as fuck. <laughs> but it just... It conceals really nice, and I find it doesn't really settle into my fine lines that bad. I had a previous concealer that really settled into my fine lines, but I actually really like this one a lot. I, so my next Vita Dye product, I actually just repurchased this when I purchased the ABH foundation, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, and I am in the shade Chocolate, which is a nice dark brown, almost black. And this has saved my life. Now, a lot of people always tell me that my brows are too bold or I should wear more natural brows or they look really bad. And I'm like, you know what? I like bold brows. I love bold brows. A lot of people are like, don't make your brows your focal point. I love making my brows my focal point on my face. Like if someone notices my brows and they're like, damn, she has good eyebrows. Like, I wouldn't care about anything else. My brows are the number one thing that I get compliments on. I also get a lot of hate on my brows from some people, but like, I have gotten so many people that stopped me and said, oh my god, I love your brows. So my waitress at Red Robin the on my birthday actually stopped me and was like, this is gonna sound really weird, but your brows are amazing. And I'm like, thank you. It literally means so much to me when people stop and tell me my brows are good because I am a brow person and I have tried pencils I have tried so many different brow products and then I was like you know what I want to try this so I tried this pomade and it is amazing okay okay so back to my back to my rambling my next favorite actually my second to last favorite is the Ardell lashes in 601 black they're part of the wispy collection and I have found a new love for wearing lashes. I'm actually not wearing them today because I went for a very simple look. I didn't even put lipstick on. I didn't put blush on. Didn't do anything. But, okay, I did do stuff. But, like, I went for a very simple look today. But they are part of the Wispy Collection. And it's in 601. And I have only found these at Target. But they're amazing. Like, they just make your eyes pop. So, my next and my final favorite is my holy grail eyeshadow palette now so many people use these palettes it is the 35b palette so the first morphe palette i ever purchased was the 35p palette which i also completely love because i like doing a lot of pinks and purple looks but then i was like i really want to branch out and do a lot more different and interesting looks and this palette has given me the opportunity to do literally any look i want the colorful the most beautiful color scheme you will ever see like this is beautiful now this one shadow is broken it has gone through a lot of transit between going to school and coming back to school so I this little guy has suffered a little bit from that but holy grail eyeshadow palette I don't think I really need to own any other eyeshadow palette like they have just beautiful colors in here all of these colors are super pigmented i would recommend i have an, two other morphe shadow palettes one is a smaller one and then another one is 35p which is what i was talking about before i swear by these morphe palettes that is actually all i have for you guys today if you guys have any holy grail products that you think i should try out leave it in the comment section down below once again give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below turn my notifications on share this video i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see all of you beautiful nameless people next week at life and makeup and everything hey i'm starting a job on thursday that i'm really freaking excited about so okay. so this is thumbnail time video 
I'm gonna do what Shane Dawson does and like I should do that and like upload all the videos of me trying to shake a fucking thumbnail. Oh my gosh. How do people do this all the time? How do makeup artists work with nails? How?